Caro can defense, exchange, Rubenstein variation. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. Black capitalized on their chances in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The pawn on e4 is under attack from the center, where d5. X5 opens up the center, white can now develop the light squared bishop to d3, where it will attack black's king side. Cx d5 recaptures the pawn on d5 and leaves the c6 square open for the knight to develop. Bd3 develops the bishop to an active diagonal that controls the center and attacks h7. And c6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the pawn on d4 and controls the e5 square. C3 defends the d4 pawn and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. Bf4 develops the bishop to an active square where it controls the center. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is the last book move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is quite good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is incorrect. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is good. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This misses a better way to move a queen to safety. This allows the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to take an outpost with a knight. It is a mistake. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This attacks a rook winning a tempo when it moves away. It is good. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. Black capitalized on their chances in the middle game. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. Both players had an amazing opening. Black capitalized on their chances in the middle game. 